Knicks in this one we'll see the Philadelphia 76ers against the Atlanta Hawks I'm Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello on the sideline David Aldridge now here's Davis there's the pass to Hastings it's Rivers on the way shot clock at six and he gets the whistle two free throws coming up what fearlessness from Rivers. He doesn't back down from going up strong inside and drawing the foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. point guard. The edge Rivers plays with on both ends is why his teammates like playing with him. And he's good on the second. Cheeks with it. Over Rivers. Cheeks no good. I don't think you can ask for a better look, just not the result they were looking for. Yeah, he's got to put that miss behind him and continue to fire away when he gets that kind of a look. Now here's Rivers. Not loose. Davis with it. And it's Richardson picking him up. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Hawks with possession here. Rivers finds Davis. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Hastings. Malone with the block. Great anticipation there. Malone gets his hands up quickly to come away with that rejection. Irving looking over the floor. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the night. That's good from Irving. Watching Julius Irving play is really like looking at art. He's such an instinctual and fluid player. He's always dreaming up new ways to beat the defense. And so Irving nails both of them. First quarter just over a minute played. Outside, Davis. Pass to Rollins. Cheeks against Rivers. Passes to Rollins. Just five on the clock. Here's Davis. And Jones pulls it down. And the defense was ready for that. They know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup. Cheeks the pass to Irving. Shoots over Wilkins. Irving misses. And so it's Wilkins who brings up the ball for the Hawks. They lost their last game on Tuesday. Hey, winning anywhere is hard, but especially on the road. So while they lost... I do think they put up a good, solid performance. I agree. I thought they played a good game. Here's Cheeks. Following the bucket by the Hawks. True on the 14-footer. Nice-looking mid-range J. Give Cheeks these opportunities, and he doesn't pass them up. Throws it up high, and stolen by Irving. Richardson outside. And it's Dominique Wilkins with the foul. That's his first foul. Oh. 
just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Here's Malone. Superb job right there from Rollins. That reach he has allows him to contest without foul. Pass to Rivers. Outside Wilkins. They set the pick. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Lets it fly. Nails the baby hook. And I love watching Irving knife inside, feeling like he can get to the rim at any time. Davis surveying the four. And the pass to Hastings. Outside Wilkins. Pass to Davis. Six on the shot clock. Flying his luck from deep. The Hawks again can't hit. The 76ers leading by three. Here's Cheeks. The dish to Irving. Stolen by Rivers. It's Wilkins on the wing. Defended by Cheeks. Wilkins, no good. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Richardson, good. Well, that's an easy, effortless make right at the rim. Yeah, you know this. You, you, you usually get only looks like this in the layup line. The defense has to make it harder on him right there. Atlanta calls timeout. Philadelphia on D. Outside, Davis. Ball's not loose. Here's Glenn. Just five to shoot. Outside, Edwards. Oh, the lob to Irving. Blows the alley-oop jam. Tell you what, he does not miss many of those. He's usually a very strong finisher in tight. He gets that one. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Now, here is Irving. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And this is the attention Irving draws from defenses, forcing them to foul him. The 76ers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. So Irving nails both of them. One ten left to play in the first quarter. Glenn passes to Davis. High post shot. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once you get screened. You got to continue to fight through. And coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. Here's Johnson. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Hawks trail by three. Whitman passes to Rollins. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start, two for two. At seven foot one, Rollins is a huge presence inside. And it's why he looks to score from this area. Edwards kicks to Rollins. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Some solid defense from Brown. 
And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. There wasn't enough resistance for them to score that one. That gives them the lead. Another lead change. Back and forth we go as neither team willing to back down after a bucket. And no matter which side you are cheering for, these are the games you love. Both teams fighting every step of the way. Outside Edwards. With one on the clock. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Hawks lead by one. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? What stood out to me in that first quarter was their saran wrap defense. Yeah, they've got terrific focus on that end, making the effort to close out on shooters and stifle the offense. Oh, here is Edwards. Scoreless thus far. Five on the clock, and that one good. Jones has got the opening field goal of the second quarter for the 76ers. The Hawks trail it. Pass to Gwen. Into the lane. Rebound by the 76ers. Malone's got rebound number five here tonight. Jones with it. Wilkins picks him up. Malone right side. A slam from Malone, demonstrating how powerful he is down there. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Here's Whitman. Has to Gwen. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. First one falls for him. The 76ers making a switch here. Hudgens is checked in. Hastings, he's checked in for the Hawks. Rivers comes in for Whitman. So he gets them both. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Edwards looking it over. Over Rivers. Again, Philadelphia. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. Here's Gwen. Outside Wilkins. The pass to Gwen. Just five on the clock. Shoots. Not as good as the 76ers lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Rivers. Nice, quick play by Rivers. Once he has the ball, he knows he's got to act fast. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. There's the feed to Malone. Malone sets the pick for Edwards. Over Rivers. Here's Malone. And it's blocked by Brown. Wilkins outside. Pass to Rivers. Wilkins with the ball. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. 
And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Hey, bringing that postseason intensity, so critical. You know, these plays can change the trajectory and outcome of a game. Both teams will make substitutions. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Outside, Edwards. This is a two-eye Veroni. Cheeks against Rivers. Cheeks' shot is good. Cheeks has got his second basket of the night. Nice utilization of the screen there by Cheeks. Glenn passes to Rivers. They set the pick, and the call is going to be... Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Yeah, the officials won't let that slide. I mean, they're eager to call out those illegal screens as well they should be. I do think he was trying to get there, but you've got to be completely planted. Irving's checked in for the 76ers. Richardson comes in for Edwards. Davis is checked in for the Hawks. Now, here's Cheeks. Irving finds Malone. It's deflected. Hey, anytime Rollins is around, your shot is in jeopardy of being denied. Excellent timing, and he's got that great reach, too. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've been in rhythm from the in-between area, just keeping things simple and taking what the D gives them. Something else they're doing well tonight, guys. Lots of points in the paint. Something to continue to keep our eye on. And the Hawks making a change here. Kelly's checked in. And Malone, no good on that one. Out on the floor, Moses Malone is a pretty intimidating presence. Almost seven feet tall with a wide build. He could be a monster down in the paint. Here's Glenn. Back to Rivers. Fires at the elbow. Count it, and the Philadelphia lead has been cut to just three points on the basket from Davis. Well, I love watching him carve his way inside and capitalize. Cheeks the pass to Malone. Now Richardson. Pass to Cheeks. And here is Irving. The 76ers need to get off a shot. Here's Malone. It's rebounded by Kelly. The Hawks trail by three. There's 138 left to play in the first half. Rivers passes to Glenn. Over Irving. And the Hawks getting another basket right there. And you know, the ability to knock down the mid-range shot can be an equalizer against bigger defenders. Absolutely. Draw them away from the rim where their size becomes a hindrance. Timeout called the 76ers. Johnson, he's checked in for Moses Malone. Wilkins is checked in for the Hawks. Here's Irving, and the bank shot is good. Irving's got eight points. Well, you can see the connection these guys have. They ran the play well. The defense had no idea how to deal with it. Richardson against Davis. Looking for Wilkins. He gets it there. Hammers the alley-oop through. Throwing it down with authority. Easy to see why Wilkins' guys lob it his way. And the pass to Irving. Pope loose. Back to Cheeks. Richardson gets a wide open look. The basket good off the assist from Cheeks. Richardson's got his second bucket of the game to go. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Atlanta Hawks. It's a three-point game. Pass to Rivers. And they call an illegal screen here. 
You know, I admit there is a little bit of a gray area when it comes to setting screens, but that one was pretty clear cut to me. Yeah, got to have your feet set. He didn't. Easy call for the officials. Atlanta making a switch here. Browns checked in. Cheeks outside. Richardson right side over Davis. Richardson no luck. The Hawks trail by three. Rivers dishes to Davis. Just five to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. Good! Another from three. Making threes, it extends the defense. Rivers with a key make. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. You look at Julius Irving. What a contribution. He has been an absolute ball thief, but he guesses right a lot, too. Well, he certainly kept that offense on edge. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. The 76 is shooting reasonably well, 45%. Cheeks against Rivers. Goes up at the stripe. Cheeks' shot is good. Cheeks has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the 76ers. The Hawks trailing. Now here's Rivers. Here's Davis. No good that time. Good work defensively by Richardson. Collins against Cheeks. The fadeaway. And Malone with the basket on the assist from Julius Irving. Six points for Moses Malone. Outside, Davis. About one minute play here in the second half. Wilkins against Irving. Four on the shot clock. Wilkins kicks to Rivers. From deep. Atlanta gets it back. Rollins the pass to Hastings. Outside, Davis passes it to Hastings. It's Rivers on the wing. Knocked away. Stolen by Cheeks. Here's Hastings, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Boy, tremendous vision from Rivers there. You see why he racks up so many assists. Cheeks the pass to Jones. He feeds it to Irving. Richardson outside. Outside, Irving over Wilkins. Again, Philadelphia. Big effort gets the big reward. Simply outplaying the defense. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. Here's Rivers. He's got six. Inside. Deflects the pass. The shot by Rollins, no good. The 76ers leading by four. Here's Irving. Up and in on the layup. Irving's got 12. Huge game from Julius Irving. He's capable of going off on any night. Rivers. Shot from free throw range. The Hawks again can't hit. And it's Jones with the ball for the 76ers. 
They lead by six, their biggest margin. It's Irving, top of the key. And the basket is good. He's got 14. An accomplished mid-range score. I like watching Irving get it done from there. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Outside, Davis. Pastor Hastings. It's Rivers on the wing. Shoots over Chiefs. Atlanta again, missing. And the 76ers with possession. Big stretch here, going 10-2. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. With the drive, kicks to Malone. Back to Chiefs. Three on the clock over Rivers. The putback, it's good on the putback. Malone's got the lead up to 10 now for the 76ers. Probably the greatest rebounder we've ever seen. Malone excels at patrolling the offensive glass. Rivers passes to Rollins. Wilkins outside. Now the pass to Rollins. On the wing, Davis. Richardson covered. And it's Davis missing. Philadelphia leading by 10. Irving with the ball. Picked up by Davis. Here's Jones. Rebound, Atlanta. It's Wilkins on the wing. Richardson cover. Richardson against Wilkins. Here's Rollins. And these calls are not easy for the refs to make. Things happen so fast in real time. These refs do their best to get these calls right. And the replay demonstrating once again how aggressive that defense was. Well, you got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on this block. A minute 20 left in the third. Here's Glenn. Pass to Whitman. To the inside. Brown. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Brown's got his second bucket. He's got a nice touch around the rim. The defense might be better off fouling him. Irving up top. 14 points for him. Here's Cheeks. It's hauled in by Brown. The Hawks trail by eight. Whitman kicks to Davis. Passes it to Glenn. Over Irving. And it's sent back by Irving. Look out, Irving outworking the shooter and getting a hand on the shot. He takes it in. Fades. Cheeks' shot is good. Cheeks has got four this quarter. I'm not so sure he needed it, but the fadeaway does make the shot even sweeter. Outside, Davis. Five to shoot. Looking to get back on track here, and the jumper falls for him. Davis has got eight points. And if you give him space like that in the mid-range, he won't hesitate to let it fly. The third quarter comes to a close. 76ers on top, ending the third quarter on a 14-6 run. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. The Hawks trail by eight. 
Here's Glenn. Pass to Whitman. Right side Wilkins. Let's it go from 11. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Driving inside. Offensive rebound. And then Malone with the dunk. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 11 rebounds. And Malone showing you the bounce. Ah, he got up there dunking from pretty easy to him. It's quite easy when you get that high. Glenn passes to Kelly. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. He's got excellent vision on the floor, creating for his guy with a spot-on lead pass. And an important part of every team's game. And we'll look at the hustle stats for the 76ers. You have to be a fan of the energy they've played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet. And it's come up big a few times for them. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. And here's Edwards. Feeds it to Rutgers. To the middle. Here's Malone. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. This is where Malone feasts. Give him the rock down low and he's looking to convert. Whitman passes to Glenn. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Misses from close range. Here's Edwards. Homo, the second chance points on the tip in. Malone's got the lead up to 11 now for the 76ers. So far, Malone has it going on, folks. The defense appearing absolutely helpless trying to stop it. Here's Glenn, defended by Jones. Whitman kicks to Wilkins. Good on the baseline, Jay. His jumper is sweet. Don't give Wilkins too many looks like that. Outside, Edwards. Dishes it to Malone. Some solid defense from Brown. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disruptive defensively. Great challenge. Edwards with it. Picked up by Brown. Malone sets the pick for Edwards. Shoots over Brown. A putback. He hangs in there and crashes in on the second chance points. That's classic Moses Malone right there. Fighting for the rebound and then going up strong to put it back in. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. So both teams changing it up here. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Guys, Mike Fratello had some advice for his team during that last break. Now, Coach really laid into them. He said, we're too loose with it. Tighten it up. These turnovers are going to cost us if we keep giving the ball away. We're better than this. Guys. Thank you, David. Now here's Jones. And it's sent back by Wilkins. Outside Davis. Good and the nice assist from Wilkins. Solid passing from Wilkins. Looking for others. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Cheeks the pass to Jones. Down low. Richardson, good. Stay aggressive. I don't ever like to see teams pump the brakes when they've got the lead. Stay aggressive, attack. A fantastic way to pad your cushion. Absolutely. You know a run is coming. Now here is Davis. The pass to Rivers. Six to shoot. Pass to Hastings. Here's Wilkins. And it's Malone with the rebound. Malone's got rebound number 15 here tonight. And it's slammed in by Jones. Love seeing Jones flush it home. His aggressiveness down low is impressive. Wilkins with it. 157 left in the game. Some solid defense there from Irving. 
Here's Jones, and then Jones with the jam. Enjoying this big lead, and right now they look unstoppable on offense. Everything is going exactly how their coach drew it up. Top to bottom, this is the pinnacle of execution. Here's Rollins. Rivers surveying the D. Rollins against Malone. And that one, good. The reach of Rollins, seven foot one, helping secure the ball, then get the bucket. And the 76ers call time here. They're up by 13. We've got 123 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Malone. Hastings grabs the board. And so it's Rivers with it. He'll bring it up for the Hawks. Trailing by 13. Davis finds Wilkins. Looking to end his cold spell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. A tenacious score. When Wilkins is this close, it forces the defense to act. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Dominique, one of those players even rival crowds will pay to see. He's that kind of a showman. Goes good from Wilkins. 107 left to play in the final quarter. A 76ers leading by 11. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. Fans are already starting to flood the exits. This is going to go down as a big game to win for the Sixers. Simply taking better care of the ball, Mike, may have made all the difference in this game. And then at the defensive end, they kept the pressure on and forced a number of miscues. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Moses Malone. And I love the work rate he showed on the glass. He was attacking every miss that came off the iron. Now, here's Cheeks. He kicks it to Irving. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Malone. Nails it with a hand in his face. This run, it's a haymaker, a knockout punch. I think this run has sealed the game. Guys, where are we going to dinner? Here is Davis, and he's going up for the alley-oop. It's stolen by Jones. Cheeks outside. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For our reporter David Aldridge, I'm with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. This is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching tonight's game. And we'll see you next time.